Hey there, just because you write English natively doesn't mean that you're actually writing it correctly. And I'm guilty of this, that sometimes I make mistakes with punctuation. So today I am reviewing an alternative to Grammarly, which is Linguix. And what this does is this checks your spelling, can help with your grammar and a lot more. So let's get into the review. <laughs> Hey guys, Richard Butler here from internetbusinessteammystify.com. If you like this review, do let me know in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you're interested in picking this up from AppSumo, which is it's on a lifetime deal of $49, um, do use the link that's in the description. Okay, so you like to write a lot, uh, you like to blog, you send emails every day. But are you writing correctly and are you writing in an effective manner? Well, this is what Linguix can do. It can actually help you with your writing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste in a document that I have here and we're going to just check it. So what it does is it runs through the document and it tells me that it has found 13 punctuation issues, one grammar and one casing. So let's go through this. Well, what I can do is I can do a number of things. I can have the full screen here. And if I just click on one of these actual errors, it tells me what the error is. So it says, do not use a noun immediately after pronoun they. Use a verb or an adverb. Okay, so a noun, remember the name of a person, place, or thing. A verb is like an action word. So there's a saying, they money is in the list. So this is a spelling mistake that wasn't picked up by the spell checker when I was actually writing this many, many years ago. This is actually an article from my website, but don't tell anybody. So what I can do is I can say correct with helper and it will go through all of this. Now, I have a couple of options. I can actually just dismiss this or I can say this is an incorrect suggestion. OK, so what I'm going to change this to is the money is in the list. OK, now it tells me that I should use an M dash here. I'll just use normal dashes so I can just clear that. Uh, thus, okay, so thus should always be followed by a comma after a conjunctive linking adverb. Okay, so whatever that is. So let's just click on that. Let's correct that. Uh, there's quite a few mistakes here, guys. Um, uh, a program that, that allows. So here it gives me tallows. Could it be gallows, tallow, wallows, mollows, follows? So it allows uh, an email to everyone outside the list sequence okay i said outside of it says outside the list sequence is better um however it doesn't understand so what i can actually do here is i can actually add to my dictionary if i'm going to be using that a lot now the next one insti okay it doesn't understand that that's okay uh here it says that this should be capitalized so i'll put in that um has a good delivery right so again it says it should be capitalized Again, there's a lot of mistakes uh, there just with the dashes. Now, this one here, it says, if the text is a generality, of the is not necessary. Did you mean some? These are just some of the basic features. So I can decide, is it a general generality? Let me just have a look. These are some basic features you could look out for. That probably reads a little bit better. Um, now, it, it highlights here any typos, punctuation issues, uh, this in and, use a comma before and if it connects two independent clauses. So let's just have a look at that. This means that your visitor opts in, comma, and then they're sent uh, an email. So I think that opts in and, okay, much better. So then what I can do is I can, well, I could copy and paste that back to my website. I can look at the statistics here. It says that your text is fairly easy to read. It's likely to be understood by a reader who has at least seven grade education. So it actually also checks your text for readability, which I really like. Another thing I like is it gives me the reading time. I should be able to read this in two minutes, 43 seconds. But surprisingly, it will take me double the time to actually speak this. Now, why would I want to use this feature? Well, if I was podcasting, I know how long my podcast is. It's going to take about four minutes to actually read this. So that's a really nice feature of it. Now, the other thing that this will actually do is it will actually check your emails as you type. And we'll get to that just in a second because there's something I want to show you here. Um, if you don't want your document saved here, you can go into secret mode and it doesn't save the document. I have my premium account. Again, this is on an AppSumo limited lifetime deal, which will give you um, lifetime access to this software with three additional users for $49, which is a steal. So I would grab it now if I were you.
Now, dictionary, if I've added words into the dictionary, they will appear here. Now, snippets is really interesting. If I go into snippets library, I can see all of the snippets here. Now, what are these? These are short helper texts if you're always writing things all the time. So this is scheduling a call at work. This is one that I uh, created from the snippets library. And how I do that is I go to use snippet. I say copy to my snippets and edit. And it shows me the text here. So I can just call this CC and I click on save. Now let's just go over to Gmail for a second. As I write, it's checking down here and it gives me an actual mistake. It tells me there's a mistake here. So what I can just do is go over here and hover over this and it tells me that this should be going to. Okay, so that corrects as well. Now, another thing that it does here is it gives you my stats. It says 44 seconds to read that. Your text is fairly easy to, to, to read, which uh, it should be. Um, I can actually go in here to snippets and I can take a snippet. So I can just go in and say, scheduling call at work. Hi, Naeem, I think there is da, 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 regarding a project, let's connect tomorrow. And then I put in my signature there. So I could add all of that there. So another thing I can do is if I just hover here, I can actually click on this document and this will send this to Lingrix. Very, very handy if you're working with Google Docs and this does work in Google Docs. And then that's it and off I go. Now, there's even more to this. If I click on the logo and go back to the main screen here, when I get back to this dashboard, I can go into templates. And what the templates do is they give inspiration so that you can uh, write better. So let's just have a look here at personal. So I go into personal and I'm looking for uh, a cover letter for internship. So I click on customize. Okay, so here it tells me the first main body of the letter is here. So I can use this as a starting point for me to write a better letter for my internship. The second main body of the letter, not compulsory, is here. Okay, everything is fine. And what I can actually do is download and you'll see that the download is here and that would open up in a Word document. And also it helps you become a better writer because what you can do is you can go in here to see the popular mistakes base form of a verb and it will tell you what you should be doing. So Alex is unable to choose in the book. It should be um, Alex is unable to choose the book. Rule frequency, it says, okay, this happens quite a lot in the top 100 and it gives you more information here. Looking at AppSumo, there's been a lot of reviews and some people have complained and they said, well, it doesn't have a plagiarism checker. It doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. For 49 bucks, this is gonna help you write better. It's gonna pick up a lot of mistakes in your writing and it's gonna make you look a lot more professional. So for me, this is definitely worth the $49 because you know, let's say you're sending out a cover letter for a job, you would be amazed at how many resumes I've seen that have grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes, cover letters, blog posts, etc. So if you were to do a guest blog post, this is gonna check everything for you. Now, let's say that English is not your native language. This will help you as well. As a native speaker, this has helped me loads over the last two days that I've been using it. So I really do believe, click on the link in the description and go get this. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like what you've seen, make sure that you give my video a like. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. And leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.